What's going on, YouTube? It's been a while. Um, just getting back into the review thing. Uh, big reason why I kind of stopped before was my Instagram got shut down. I worked so hard and it took so long to get my follower count up. I think I was getting somewhere near 3,000 followers and then all of a sudden either got shut down or hacked and I just couldn't get in touch with Instagram to get it posted back up. And I don't know, I had a hard time starting from scratch. However, with the new job that I have now, I basically work at a vape shop here in Minnesota. It's called the Eastsick Crib. If you're in the area, come check it out. It's in Uptown off Lake Street in Lindale. We carry a lot of the current devices. We have over 100 flavors of juice. Um, you know, the standard quality vape shop. I figured, hey, you know, I got access to all these devices. I make money. I've been buying different things myself. Why not? get back into the review thing again you know I, I enjoy doing it I like sharing what I think about products with other people so that's where I'm at now so today we're going to talk about the pulse excuse me 80 watt mod from Vandy Vape and Tony B it's a great device it's really light the Vandy Vape chip is really good you hit the button it fires right away um, it takes a 2700 battery however it dumps, does come with a uh, an adapter so if you have 18650 batteries, they're still going to work. I personally like using the 2700 more than the 18650 just because of the battery life. I feel like I get a little more of a battery life out of it. So, other than that, I have no complaints. Now, let's go over the function of the device. So, in order to... Here, let me get a little closer. All right, in order to lock the device, power or uh, wattage up and power button. It's locked now, okay? Unlock it, perfect. Power and volume down button, or volume down, eh. um, power and wattage down button, flips your screen. Everybody has a preference on what screen they wanna do. If you want to switch between bypass mode or all your temperature controls, stainless steel, titanium, nickel, it's just three clicks. Let's see, I'm in stainless steel now. Should be in titanium, nickel, and titanium. Well, now we're back in power. Um, wattage goes up, increments of one. Uh, let's talk about just the looks of it. So it comes in these sweet, like, it's it's not a resin. It's, like, softer than the resin, but it kind of looks like some of them. And the plates do come off. Just like uh, a lot of other uh, boxes out there. And that's your internals. So everything's covered up. You got your 2700 battery right there. Like I said, 18650s will work. You got this little adapter. I just slide it on the negative side of the battery and pop it in. The bottle that comes in there is silicone. It's pretty soft. It's not a super soft, but it is very soft. And then you'll notice the bottle a little different than other ones. So it's got this little top piece on the bottle. Essentially, it makes it a lot easier for when you're filling up your bottle and you're screwing the top back on gives you a place to hold on to. That way you don't have to do like the screwdriver trick where you jam the screwdriver in the tube to prevent it from like overflowing. Uh, I, it's my understanding that the 510 was designed to prevent leaking. I'll show you what the 510 looks like. It's super light. So the, the oh, another thing. This is really responsive. Anytime you pop a new device on there, it's going to ask you to get a new coil or old coil. I like that a lot. And then it's going to automatically adjust the wattage to where it feels it should be for whatever old coil you have. So, that's about it. Um, what do I like about it? Most things. I don't go over 60, 70 watts tops. And the other devices I've had are just so big, bulky, and heavy. This thing is super light. It's good in the hand. Um, it's really easy to squat in the button. You know, depending on which hand I got it in, my fingers wrap around really easily. 
the menu system is functional. Um, it works really easily. It's not hard to do. If you did want to get into the menu system, you just hold up and down. And that's where you can do like your DIY, which is your power curve. You can adjust, I believe, like the first five seconds of the vape. So you can, you know, bump it up so it gets a faster ramp up. You can also look at the um, the version of the, you know, like the firmware version and stuff like that. And you can change it between the wattage or the voltage. So you can run it in voltage mode and adjust your device that way. I don't really have any complaints about the device. Um, I have one small complaint, I guess, and it's not even a complaint because you should be charging your batteries externally anyways. But on them situations where you do have to use the USB cord to charge it, it gets a little hot. Um, like the chip starts to burn up a little bit. Or not burn up, but the chip gets a little warm. And like I said, it's not a huge deal. Um, you should be using external chargers anyways. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I just thought I would mention it. So this is going to be the box that it comes in. Here's the back. With all the, you know, what it talks about. It does come with a uh, USB cord. Looks like the bottle is eight milliliters, so you can fit eight milliliters of juice in there. What else does I say about it? it comes in a variety of, of colors and patterns. So um, carbon fiber, and then they got several different color schemes of this design. This is the one I picked, and I think it looks pretty sweet. As you can see, I got it paired up with the Pulse 22 by 20 b and it makes a great combination. I think for the next, one of my next videos I want to put out will be about the Pulse 22. And um, yeah, just stay tuned, stick around. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been around. It, no point in really going into it, but regardless, I want to do reviews again. I'm working at a vape shop. I got the opportunity to really talk about some stuff. And yeah, this is fun to me. So this is what I'm going to do. Well, I don't really have much more to talk about. Please like the video, comment if you have any questions, criticism, whatever, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. I will drop a link below for my Instagram. Um, go follow me on there. I always follow back. And yeah. I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.